which that's the transition right there. I can punch it and it'll come up. Let's say 16 by 14 to 10 by 14, 12 inches long. I'm gonna calculate it and lay it out for a piece of metal. Nesting meaning it figuring Just the figuring optimum cut. To for it to fit to optimize the sheet of metal. Metal. Usually by hand, but we set it by hand. It's hard to actually bear my side. I like those in here. Cheap vendor, so you can see it going in. You did want Pittsburgh on it, right? It is where it's going. Well, a lot of stuff, we go a lot of Pittsburgh. Right. Do you do much of like that? No, I wouldn't. I'd run because it, it's made where it can run through it easy. Yeah, yeah. But if it was something goofy, where or do that. Both of them, and then put it in the top. Seven sixteenths. Yeah. Okay. Except for cut joints, going to be four piece, right? Yeah, a normal transition will be four piece. Mm -hmm. Let me grab the hands on, straighten these ends out. Large female Pittsburgh, and a lot of shops will use the or use the standard button lock. You see that? But that turn just like if I put it through the snap lock machine on just that little end of yeah. the way you cut it. So you could have run it through the snap lock. Yeah, I could have yeah. run this one through the snap lock machine. As long as it's going straight. We can go and line them up and seat it. Supporting it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. by putting it on something. That's the purpose of a sheet metal hammer being flat.